this is their tap tap. Apparently, a Luna game five came out, and they made a website for their Luna gamey stuff. But uh, Luna game five is actually a fan made game, so maybe it won't suck. Spoilers: It really fucking sucks, and I'm really, really annoyed right now. But Luna game five, it's a fan game. That link does not go to the game. Games. The sidebar image shifts down for no apparent reason. But yeah, you can download all the games. You can even get that demo that's not really a game that wastes 20 minutes of your life. Speaking of wastes 20 minutes of your life, let's play Luna Game 5. This game is buggy as hell. And I have played it four times now, I think. And I threw away my last two recordings because they're mostly me swearing. So it starts off like the first one. Except it's not like super laggy. It's got the inappropriate music from that guy. This guy, all of this guy's music is on YouTube somewhere. Um, search Pony Beats, and I think you find it. It's Angel. What's up, Angel? Actually, spooky music. Don't get your hopes up. It's Angel. What's up, Angel? That I collected him. What's up, bunny? Maybe that was the bunny I'm missing. Okay, so how this works is there's seven bunnies, and I hate all of them. They're apparently all Angel. Angel's been to a cloning facility, and he only has whiskers on the left side of his face. Must have been a shaving accident. Um, so, yeah, you collect all the bunnies, and then it's just like that fucking 50, collect 50 books thing, where there's one magic bunny. You gotta click all the other bunnies first before you can get the magic bunny. But uh, I kept not finding the last bunny, the last real bunny. I kept getting stuck on seven, and you need eight to continue on. And I think it was that one on the ledge. I think I just legitimately missed it. But I went through twice. And I got stuck on seven bunnies. And I went through once, and I got the right bunny. And then something happened that infuriated me, and I hate hate everyone involved for it so much. Um, but anyway, you collect all the bunnies and then there's a pit down there that opens up. There's no indication that anything will happen once you collect that bunny. You're just left to wander around in circles, which is terrible game design. And yeah, so that's the eighth bunny. But do know there is something you do. I'm going to spoil everything because, oh my god, that is so frustrating. So then this pit opens up. And unfitting music plays. Luna falls in a pit while unfitting music plays. And it's the evil Necronomicon bunny. It's just like that stupid 50th book. He's all spooky and he's freaking vlogged out. Zaldo, how do you pronounce that? Anyway, we collect him. Spooky. Spooky. So the unfitting music stops. And it's spookiness. It's Pinkie Pie, and she's all ghosty. I don't know if you can hear me whispering. Hopefully you can. But spookiness abounds. See, the game should have like been like one screen, and then you follow Angel. You pick up like a couple of the bunnies. It's not a game. Don't, don't worry about having so many things. Just collect a couple bunnies. Hard to miss them. Get to here. Don't freaking frustrate me before you get to the point of the game that isn't stupid and unnecessary. Just get to the point, please. See, this part kind of doesn't suck, maybe. I don't know, I haven't got much for it. It's... Let's actually play now. What's up, buddy? Mommy, where are you? I can't see. You missed the little static flicker. Well, you probably didn't miss it, but... The joke is they don't have eyes. Everyone laughs. It's a classic gag. Hey, Scratch. You need if it, like, continuously, like, flickered on occasion, and you can see that it had, like, the blacked-out eyes. Help us, please. Butcher sounds. This other one's just like, do to do to do Why is everyone taller than me? Why are you... Are you walking on air? No, I think you're just taller than me. This is not fair. 
I'm freaking a princess or something. I should be. Actually, I don't know why a princess would be tall. Peach is tall. Peach is freaking taller than Mario. Princesses should be tall. I take all of my measurements from Mario games. That's why I'm so successful in life. Spin penis. Then you have to run at this part. And if you don't, the game kills you because it's the fucking douche! I hate. Freaking Luna Game 3 did this to you where you have to run. And there's no indication it's not really a cutscene or something. So I just stood there, and the game kills you, and the game ends, and expects you to just play the damn thing again. I don't want to play this stupid thing again, because I'm already very pissed off at it. If you, you know, I've been dropping some subtle hints at that, but if you couldn't tell, slightly annoyed. Don't do that, ever. I hate you. I really do. Spooky sounds. Let me get it. Let me jump in the pit. See, that's the thing. When there's a pit, I don't know if I'm supposed to not jump or what. But if the screen scrolls to the end, you see a sp spooky Pinkie Pie picture and the game ends. I know, it's really surprising. I was, I was so startled. I'm so startled. The cat is sniffing my leg. I was startled by it. Somebody's butchering a monkey. Parker, no! Sorry, my cat's trying to play with the cord. Oh god. Parker, if you get me killed, I'm gonna be very pissed off. Is that a ghast? That was kinda like a ghast, though. So... Is this like an endurance test? I swear to god, if this is the end of the- okay. Pinkie Pie! Do 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 do, happy face. Not if explained You have two pupils. You have two pairs of pupils. That's actually kind of cool, though. Wait, no, wait. You have two pairs of pupils and irises. And one of them is bleeding. Probably get that checked out, bro. Sis. I swear to god, if something just kills me, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Okay! And we're at the Devil's Machine! Oh, I can't move. And it's Porky Pony! There better be a Porky Pony here, I'm gonna be pissed off. If you had, like, frickin' Porky Pony, that would be so awesome. That would instantly redeem this entire game. Can I walk on? Yes! I was so excited in Earthbound when I found you could walk on those things. It's getting darker. It's getting lighter. I, mean, I think that's just... No, it's definitely getting darker. If this leads to a you're dead, and you have to play the game over because you went the wrong way, I'd be really pissed, so I'm gonna go up. Because that's where Gigas was. Gigas. I, I was pronouncing Gigas. I'm not sure. See, there's the Devil's Machine. Luna, I feel happy. You know what you have to. Comic Sans again. I'm shaking my head. You can't hear it. You know what you have to do. Uh, do a barrel roll. Uh, I don't. I don't know what I have to do. Like, seriously. So. Come on. And there was no porky pony. There better be a porky pony. I'm gonna search the internet, and if I can't find a porky pony, I'm gonna be pissed off. If I do find a porky pony, I'll stick it at the end of this video. I'm serious about that. I'm gonna look for a porky pony. And we're dead. See? This is what happens when you don't provide a Porky Pony. Comic Sans kills you. You couldn't have picked a scarier or more serious font than Comic Sans MS. Like, really? Microsoft Bob is going to murder me. Well, that's just great. No Porky Pony. A quarter of a second of Pinkie Pie. It's gonna go. 
pop up and be like, whoa, I'm spooky, even though the game ended. I hear spookiness in my headphones, so I would assume that's going to happen. Is it spooky? Am I spooked? Wait, no, that's something outside. Never mind, I don't think it's going to do anything. But that was Luna Game 5. Now with about 95% less swearing than my first couple takes. And my laptop is still being repaired. Slow butt phases. Uh, so... Yeah, this will probably be the last video for, you know, maybe next week I'll start again. There is a Porky Pony! I love you, Google. There's a... What was his name? Not Ness. Ninten. There's a Ninten Pony. There's a... Wait, no, that is Ness. These are the, these are the Earthbound crew, not the Mother crew. But yeah, there's a Porky Pony. And I think his name was actually Pokey in Earthbound. I've been reading Earthbound Central too much, and I forget which name is which. And there's also Gigas Pony. She feels happy. I think it's a sheep. Not sure how you tell with these things. Anyway. If you watch any part of this video, only watch this part. Because this is the part that isn't terrible.